Here. Here. When people think that they have a problem that can't be helped, and actually it can, and they thought they were in a life sentence of discomfort or restriction, it is pretty rewarding to be part of the process that turns that around. Do you want to come through? When a new patient comes, it's a 90 minute appointment. Have a seat here. Thanks. I need to take admin details to create a file for them. Take a history of their, what we call their chief complaint, so that I know so why they've come to see me. I keep exercising and using, um, doing, doing the same things I was with Steph and the running. Mm. And I keep having, just every now and again, get a little strain in this left knee, just on the inside of this joint. That information I then need to put into a full medical history because certain pathologies will show up in the respiratory system or the cardiovascular system. So it's important for me to do a complete check on how that person is operating. I'll carry out testing and arrive at a working diagnosis so that I can then discuss with the patient what I think I'm dealing with, what their options for care are, what form chiropractic care would take. And it's only by doing that, really, that the patient can give informed consent to treatment so that their expectations are realistic. We can do a lot, but we're not miracle workers. All of our pain and our restrictions show up in our posture and our way of walking. OK, so could we have you? Let's have you standing up. There's a lot of information we gather, not so much from what a patient says, but how they walk in the door. Very often they'll reveal quite a lot about how things are in their system. Evenly distributed between your feet. Standing on that one more, I would say. Do you tend to do that? I think probably, yeah. Can you stand face that way? Patients will normally come to me directly. Chiropractors don't usually work within the NHS. Nonetheless, if they're under medical care for their condition, I would be looking to liaise with whichever medical practitioner is looking after them. And whenever it's appropriate, I'll feed the information that I've got back to the GP. So very much there's the intention to work as a team. Right, you comfortable there? Reason? Good. OK, your job is to do nothing. <laughs> Any discomfort when we do this? I can feel that just really slightly, but at the top. Yep. I'm a McTimony chiropractor, which means that the adjustments I use are particularly fast and particularly short. Often people think of chiropractic treatment as being tied up in knots and sat on until you pop. With McTimony chiropractic, the patient is yeah. basically passive, so you don't need to adopt a contorted position. And then it's my job to put an energy impulse into the system at the right level. Because we make an adjustment that's very quick and adds a bit of spin, a bit of torque, and then recoils, the treatment feels very light, although it's very powerful. So it's a nice combination Good. that almost anybody can almost enjoy. Well. Laser is a fantastic adjunct to chiropractic because it lets me get into areas that are too sore to adjust. It brings down inflammation, it reduces pain, it encourages tissue healing, and therefore it lets me get on with my chiropractic job faster and more efficiently. Do you mind that? No. Mind that? I can feel that. Just there. In here. Just, Interesting. Just a thing yeah. just there that's pulling. Yeah. People are sometimes surprised that they come in with a sore hip. Why are you spending time playing with my hand or my foot? My approach is to see the system as one whole system. And if you have a problem in one area of your body, there will be compensations in another. And we might be focusing on the area that's restricted, not necessarily the area that's painful, because what we can treat is restriction rather than pain, but the whole body knows that there's a problem, and therefore the whole body can be helped with chiropractic. So, if you could just sit up through here. Oh, can I get you to take your necklace off, please? Mm. Ariana, can you look after my necklace? Mm -hmm. Thank you. McTimony Chiropractic doesn't usually hurt. 
And that's one of the attractions so, of it to many so, people. Okay. Uh, can you let your head fall forward? People will feel very, very relaxed straight after a treatment and sometimes a little bit spacey. Okay. Back to neutral. So, could we have you lying on your right shoulder? Sometimes there can be an aching for a day or two before the recovery takes place. Sometimes people just feel fantastic. Okay, and you can lie on your back. Reaction times can be very quick. If we free up something that was the one thing in the way, then there will be an immediate change and the patient will be aware of something changing mm -hmm. immediately. The pattern of That's not to say that healing, if you've had a problem for 15 years, it's going to clear up in one treatment. We need to re-educate the system as to what normal is. When people have a problem that's really worrying them, they can go to the doctor, but the doctor only has 10 minutes to see them, however much they would like to spend longer. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. I think when patients come to me because they feel that I pay a lot of attention to everything they say, and I think they feel very much cared for. Some people haven't talked to anybody about their life, for half an hour solidly in any other context and it's the only chance they've had to talk about what's on their mind and it's interesting and rewarding to spend long enough to make a good diagnosis. When was the operation? The 9th of June. 9th of June. Often people really don't have an expectation that their situation can get better. They've become so accustomed to living with pain or a restricted movement that they think, oh, well, I'm just old or this is just how I am. And to see the relief in those people's faces when we make a change and they start to get their normal function back, I think that is the most rewarding part of the job.